I'm excited. You know, there, there's a lot of good arms back that, that weren't uh, available last year in South Carolina's uh, you know right now everything looks good on paper but obviously uh, when you get in between the lines is, is going to be the telltale so hopefully South Carolina can get off to a good start the the pre, the schedule in non-conference right now is a little bit down just from a name perspective UMass Lowell did play for a, a, a conference championship last year so South Carolina as they found out last year they got to come to play and uh, hopefully their their arms are going to be good enough and a lot of unknowns uh, on the offense but um, uh, from what we hear things are uh, looking pretty good for them so hopefully they can get off to a great start. We've heard so much about the arms this offseason as a former pitcher how do you deal with that kind of pressure excitement just all that external noise that's surrounding a pitching staff heading into a season? Well, I think you know that that phrase external noise I think that's one thing they need to really just focus on what they can control and what they can control is going out and getting guys out they don't need to be worried about the spin rates and throwing 96 97 it seems to be that's all anybody cares about these days but at the end of the day uh, I think if you're Mark Kingston you don't care if they're rolling it up to home plate they just need to produce and get outs and uh, work quick get their uh, offense a chance to be able to come back in and score some runs and uh, you know it's uh, it all starts on Friday and, and uh, Will Sanders has got the nod on Friday and he's just going to have to do everything he can to try to pitch deep into games and and uh, help South Carolina to victory today. Outside the obvious, stay healthy, all that kind of stuff. In order for this season to be as successful as fans hope for it to be, what do you think needs to be the key outside of the pitching and all the obvious? Yeah, I, you know, I, I do think they're deep enough from a pitching standpoint. they got to develop roles quicker than, than later. I, I don't think if we go into the Clemson series and the SEC series and we don't have a true closer, we don't know who that is. We need to identify that. We need to go ahead and give that opportunity to whoever it may be. Uh, let them establish roles, know who they are, know what they're doing when they come, what they're expected to do when they get to the ballpark. And I, I think uh, defense is a question for me and, and, and as well as offense. I mean, you've got one guy in the starting lineup today in Wimmer that batted over 263, which I think was the team batting average. He batted over 300 last year, but nobody else in the starting lineup batted over the team average, which is 263. So a lot of unknowns right now and a lot of guys that have come in and hopefully they can uh, come in and help South Carolina.